One of the things that everybody knows about Germany is that over here, David Hasselhoff is regarded as some kind of god. Germans of all ages worship and adore him, and it's not for his work on Baywatch or Knight Rider, it's for his unparalleled skills as a singer. To many people who haven't fallen for whatever evil incantation is responsible for this otherwise inexplicable love affair, Hasselhoff's singing skills are certainly unparalleled. And that's something we can all be grateful for. I mean, he's not a terrible singer. If he was a terrible singer, we could all enjoy it, ironically. But he's not. He's adequate. Which is worse. So what is the explanation for why, in Germany, Hasselhoff's songs are played non-stop on every radio station and there are shrines to him on every street corner? Why is it that all German women want to be with Hasselhoff and all German men want to be Hasselhoff? Well, the answer is, it's not true at all. David Hasselhoff simply isn't venerated or even particularly popular over here. Show a German of my generation a picture of David Hasselhoff and their reaction will be, oh yeah, him. Show the average 20-year-old the same picture and their reaction is more likely to be, who? The notion that Germans are nuts about the Hoff is an American idea, but as is so often in these cases, there is a small kernel of truth in it. Very small. There was a period back in the 80s and 90s when Hasselhoff was often on the front cover of magazines for young girls in Germany, but that coincided with his popularity elsewhere. And yes, it's true, he was once popular. And in fact, it was for Knight Rider that he was best known. Not that people were watching it because it starred David Hasselhoff, at least not in my case, I just liked the idea of a talking car. But he launched his singing career, such as it was, in the late 80s, and one song in particular caught the public imagination. Regularly featured in lists of the worst pop songs ever, I've Been Looking for Freedom hit the German charts just months before the Berlin Wall came down. Really cheesy songs do often find their way into the European charts. It's not because people listen to them, but because they dance to them in clubs usually when drunk. But in this case, the lyrics really did capture the spirit of the age. They spoke of a never-ending search for freedom, but rather incongruously set to a ridiculously upbeat tune. Which made it a terrible song, but also reflected the giddy euphoria of the days and weeks following the fall of the Berlin Wall. Unsurprisingly, he was then invited to sing in front of the Brandenburg Gate. And so began the story that Germans love David Hasselhoff. In reality, he just happened to record the right song at the right time for Germany. After that, his popularity faded exactly as it did everywhere else. And now it's just a dark chapter in history that Germans are trying their hardest to forget. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not send me a postcard? Here's the address. Or visit rubos.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my blog.